Well, let me ask you about something that, sadly, I have to ask you about because we've received tremendous feedback, especially on Twitter, so I know you've seen it, and even via email, the corny drive through at gmail.com, footage of what is, I believe, John Moxley oh, wrestling for GCW against a wrestler named Effie. And as I say, we received a lot of this. I've, I've seen him. His name ought to be F.U. Well, we've received this clip and or variations of this clip. Apparently, there are different angles from way too many people. Well, it became one of those things on the Internet because people couldn't believe the, the sight that they were seeing with their own two eyes. We've talked about Plumber Moxley. And actually, I'm thinking about having to change that name because I was... I was actually reminded by one of the fine professionals from Tom Drexler, plumbing, electric, and heating and air, that plumbers are highly specialized technicians that go to school and they train and they work hard and they got a lot to know. And I think I'm doing them a disservice by comparing them to this fucking balding, homeless-looking bum that is currently the AEW interim champion. So let's look at this from a business standpoint. This Moxley is figured in for a guaranteed contract from a billionaire that has a national television wrestling promotion. For good or bad, he's got one, and it's there. And this guy is one of the main event names and is the interim world champion and is scheduled to... I would think at some upcoming major event, unify that title with the real champion, CM Punk, the big star in the company, who's just come back to television, right? So that, that's going to take place. And it's not like that Moxley, since he's on this guaranteed contract with Tony Khan, needs to go out and slum to make a living. He doesn't have to go to these garbage shows that have these death matches and these off-brand, untrained mud show performers and these questionably uh, questionable fans with their things that they like on these shows, where video of things like this is going to get out to sane, normal people. He's not only representing AEW as a champion, but he's putting AEW's business in risk. Does he get hurt wrestling one of these untrained do-it-yourself jack-offs in one of these garbage matches on these stupid programs? In that case, he can't be at the pay-per-view. He can't fucking perform his AEW functions because he's let some idiot puncture him some way with a goddamn baseball bat studded with dildos or whatever. Or as in the case of what's happened here over the weekend, video footage of the completely ridiculous, totally tasteless, obviously phony, and unsavory bullshit that goes on at these garbage shows in front of these garbage people that go to them and in front of the garbage people that promote them, the video gets out, regular people see it, and they, they this is the guy that's on AEW. He's wrestling big major name stars on AEW, and he puts that rear naked choke on them, and they go out. But now he's got a rear naked choke in what looks like a barn in front of 72 people on a fucking guy wearing trunks that looks like that he may have just washed up on shore from a swimming accident. That's the only way we really can tell he's a wrestler. He's wearing <laughs> swim trunks. Maybe he fell off a fishing boat. I don't know. <laughs> and while Moxley, the big-time national TV star, has got his finishing hold, the choke on this guy, the guy's got his hand in his pants playing with his penis. Yes, he's whistling at Old Willie. Yes, he's had the... Four sisters on Thumb Street wrapped around Mr. Johnson. On video, in the middle of the... He's not worried about the, the rear naked choke that's about to put him out. He's playing with his dick. 
And everybody knows how how good using your dick for spots goes over in the wrestling business. It's always worked for everybody else. But that's not enough. Then there's another scene where they are throwing punches at each other. And then this homeless bum, what'd you say his name is? F.U.? Old F.U. I believe it was Effie. Effie, F.U., F.me, whatever the case. He starts throwing punches at Moxley, and Moxley's leaning over, sticking his chin out, and the guy is acting like he's punching him, but it's really, there's so much daylight, you can tell he's not. Of course, Moxley wasn't selling it anyway. And then there was the part where they decided to do the Japanese strong style trading of the blows in the middle of the ring, but instead of chops or punches or forearms, it was kisses. There are two grown men allegedly in a fight, standing in the ring, grabbing each other's face and kissing each other back and forth. And then apparently Moxley won that because he grabbed the guy and kissed him for a long time. And then when people, the the clip went up on Twitter and I said, well, it's good to see Plumber Moxley, you know, being a great representative of AEW and embarrassing his company like he embarrasses the wrestling business and, you know, special props to the goddamn opponent for looking like a homeless person just wandered into the arena. And everybody go, oh, but you're so homophobic. What the fuck did that have to do with this phony, silly, stupid wrestling? Because I don't think Moxley's homosexual. He's married. I've never seen this other fucking river floater before in my life. You have once, but only in picture form, so you wouldn't know it. How? What picture did I see him in? It was either a singles match or part of a bigger match. I really couldn't tell you. I don't keep up with this, but... He was the wrestler trying to force Marco's stunt onto the dildo. It was his dildo. This is the guy that's that brought forth the name Dwarf Dong Sucker for little Marco. Okay, well, so the guy that was trying to force the midget from Mississippi to suck a giant foot-long rubber cock at a garbage wrestling show last year or whenever, is now the guy that's trading kisses with John Moxley in the ring. But everybody, oh, you're just not, you're just uncomfortable with people that are happy or comfortable with their sexuality. No, I'm uncomfortable with bad fucking phony wrestling and bad phony wrestlers doing it in front of people, making the goddamn business look like a bunch of shit, which is what they did, which is Moxley's fucking M.O., that's, and he went to this garbage show so that he could get together and play with, and I guess I shouldn't say play with, since the wrestler that he was wrestling was tickling him own, his own self when he was in Moxley's hold, but he wanted to play with the bank-addicted drug robber that's part of garbage championship wrestling also, and his friend, Moxley's idol, is a guy that was on drugs and robbed a fucking bank, and does nothing but bring shame and disfavor on the professional wrestling industry everywhere he goes. So Moxley's working for a billionaire, got more guaranteed money than people five times as good as him in the wrestling business had ever even seen before. But for fun, he goes out and he fucking slices himself with razor blades on garbage shows in front of fucking a few hundred bizarre individuals who get into that kind of thing and they let these fucking jack-offs with their dildos and their fucking diddling come in and play with themselves uh, during their matches. And that's what Moxley really makes him happy. So is anybody wondering now why I think that John Moxley is the worst pushed wrestler in the world? And Tony Khan don't have the balls to tell him, hey, if you're going to be my champion and on my television, then let's not have video of you in the ring trading phony punches and real kisses with a guy that's jacking himself off while you're putting your finish on him. You fucking imbecile. Maybe they should have taken him... You know, normally, these therapy places or the rehab places or whatever, 
I get if you're under 18, they've got to they they still got to put you through school or something, right? Could there have been somebody that could have when he was in therapy for whatever else his issues were, could have put Moxley in school and teach him some reading, writing, arithmetic, and other shit that normal sane adult people know that apparently he's unaware of. But anyway, so that was my comment on that footage. It was, and people are seeing through these guys now because there was a ton of people on Twitter. What the flying fuck is this? Why is this happening? Why are these people doing this on purpose? Why are they not ashamed? What has Tony Khan got to say about this? They're all saying that. But these guys, as I mentioned before with other people, are so drunk on the smell of their own farts that they can't figure out when they're doing obviously stupid shit in public that reflects negatively on the company they work for and their business in general. And they think it's cute and funny. So I'm glad I've never met this fucking guy because here's another one that I can add to the list. I don't know that there can be a person farther opposite to me on the face of this planet than me and John Moxley. And that's the way I want to keep it. Fuck this guy. I didn't see that. People were saying that you were homophobic about criticizing this thing. Here. Yes. Yes. And a bunch of other people, they cri the people who were criticizing this on Twitter, other people were saying, Oh, you're just homophobic. And they're like, dude, what the fuck? What is, what does gayness or homosexuality have to do with guys doing fake, stupid wrestling? in the middle of a ring in front of no people in a goddamn cinder block building, just jacking themselves off literally in the ring. Yeah. If I was a gay man and I said, I'm not interested in seeing wrestling where guys are jerking themselves off and then kissing each other. Is that homophobic? Or is no, it only if you're straight and you make that complaint? Well, I think it's, that means that you actually like wrestling or don't like stupid shit. And the phony punches was as as bad to me as the goddamn trading the kisses. Although, a, again, it's context. To me, the jerking off was the thing that just made this an all-time embarrassing thing. Something well, that yeah, that Tony was, Khan couldn't help but be embarrassed by this because of that. Well, that, that was a standout thing. But I, again, I hate the fucking fake wrestling worse because... You know, but all of Moxley's wrestling looks fake. He can't fucking do anything. But the other the other guy was a shits either. He can't do the elbows. He can't do the punches. I mean, it's a steady thing with Moxley. But again, what audience is this for? If you if you want to see homosexual erotica, then you don't want the fake punches in the middle of the kisses. Or if you want to see fighting. You don't want the kisses in the middle of the fake punches, which you don't want the fake punches either. Who are they trying to appeal to here? I don't know what the key uh, audience is for them. It's and, certainly and not again, me. And that's these, that's these little asswipes fucking way out every time that they don't want people to tell the truth about them. When, when these fucking outlaw mud show jack off wrestlers, literally jack off wrestlers, well, you just homophobic if you don't like me because I'm gay. No, I don't like you because you're a shitty fucking wrestler and you're a clown and your shit looks fake and you're an embarrassment. I go, fuck anybody. You want to blow a goat? I don't care. But well, no, don't, that's illegal. Don't, don't do homophobic that. homophobic because is that not in every state? Really? That's I awful. don't think so. That's terrible. <laughs> I think I think Alabama just put up a fucking bestiality law a year or two ago. So they're cracking <laughs> down on things finally down there. But nevertheless, it's not homophobic to criticize a fucking shitty gay wrestler just like it's not racist to criticize a shitty Japanese wrestler. It's criticism. And it's observably true. So fuck all y'all. All right. Well, I'm going to guess that maybe there'll be some letters, some complaints sent to someone. I have no idea who. There's no commission. There's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Wild West out there. <laughs>